I have my own views about Britain's relationship to the European Union. I voted to remain in the EU, but a lot of people that I know didn't. And I wrote this book mainly in order to understand for myself their point of view and to, uh, to help me um, get deeper into their reasons for making what to me seemed like a strange decision. A couple of my novels, I'm thinking particularly of uh, The Rain Before It Falls, which I published about uh, 12 years ago. Uh, it's not set in the present day, it has no, uh, no description of current politics or current events. Um, I have to say I like writing this kind of novel very much. I also feel a little bit guilty while I'm doing it. Um, to me, a novel is one of the most useful tools that we have for interrogating the world uh, and understanding the present uh, in, a, in a deeper and more rounded way than we're able to do through journalism or sociology. So for my own part, I do feel a little uh, sense of duty to address the current moment and what is happening in the real world. Uh, but I have to say, Every so often it's nice to take a holiday and write about something completely different. I like almost all of the characters in this book, uh, including Coriander, uh, who is uh, a young woman with very passionate views, uh, a woman with strong, uh, strong political allegiances on the left, who has nevertheless grown up in a family environment of great privilege and luxury. Uh, her fault, her failing, is that she's very quick to make judgments. And I think this is a failing not at all unique to young people today, but, but uh, that we observe uh, everywhere in society. Social media has something to do with it because social media demands, if we're going to use it effectively, that we, our responses are quick and our responses are strong. So people are very quick to make up their minds, very quick to make judgments. And uh, this is the mistake that Coriander makes uh, in the book. Uh, if I write about these characters again in a few years' time, she will definitely be one of the ones I return to, and maybe we will find that she has become a little more patient and mellow as she gets older. Because it is a novel, the story has to end at some point and the story of these particular characters has to reach some kind of resolution. But of course this book is also the story of uh, the United Kingdom and the story of Brexit, and that story is not over yet. Uh, personally, I don't think it will be over for many, many years. So if I'd waited for, the story, for that story to end, then I probably wouldn't be alive to write the book. Science.